Thanks for that great handoff, David. Looks like they're keeping you busy at Sweetwater Tavern. Perhaps you have a job as a brewmaster in your near future. But anyway, welcome to Eggtoberfest 2020, the virtual experience of your lifetime. Sorry we can't be there in person, but we're gonna make this Friday night the best Friday night of your life, especially sitting there at home. My name is Chris Sussman, otherwise known as the Barbecue Buddha, and I'm coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm gonna be making the perfect Friday night finger food, just like you would have if you were at the meet and greet at Eggtoberfest. This is the type of stuff that I like to make when Mrs. Buddha and I are hosting friends at our house. We're gonna make some delicious chicken wings and I'm gonna finish it off with making a couple pizzas. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how I prep my chicken wings and how I do some easy pizzas so you're not intimidated to try pizzas on the Big Green Egg yourself. And we're gonna finish out, close out, have some fun with this virtual Eggtoberfest, the barbecue Buddha style. Stay tuned. All right, so the first thing up is chicken wings. We're gonna start with some awesome chicken wings. I got a whole chicken wings, I picked them up at the grocery store. We're gonna get them out of the packaging and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to separate the wing tip and the drumette from the flapper. And then I'm gonna be using the Big Green Eggs Nashville Hot Rub. If you haven't used this rub, you are missing out. You don't need anything else except for this rub and you've got deliciousness right outside the bottle. But we're gonna finish it off. We're gonna glaze these wings with one of my favorite sauces from Big Green Egg. It's their Vidalia Sriracha Barbecue Sauce. It's got just the right amount of heat the perfect amount of sweet, and it makes these wings sing. So let's get started. You just find the joint and you just separate right down through the joint. Then you see the joint right here. You see where that little drumette goes down? You just slice through the skin and like that. So now you got a wing or the flapper or the flat and you got a drumette. So let me separate all of these then we're gonna season them up. We're gonna get them on the big green egg that's outside waiting for us, already preheated. All right, now that we've got the wings all separated, we're just gonna apply a little bit of oil. Olive oil will do the trick as a binder. I'm gonna cover those chicken wings nicely. And then we're gonna put on a generous amount of this delicious Big Green Egg Nashville Hot Rub. This stuff is so good. to make chicken sandwiches out of it, fried chicken seasoning. I've even put it on pork chops. This stuff is delicious. All right, so I'm getting a nice, good, even coating. I wanna get these wings all rubbed up. All right, there we go. All right, so as you can see, these wings are rubbed up. They're looking delicious. That seasoning is gonna make them sing. Let's go on outside to the Big Green Egg, get these on, and then we're gonna come back in here and prep our pizzas while these chicken wings cook themselves up. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, so I'm out here with my big green eggs. I've got this one set up at 475, 450. We're gonna be cooking those pizzas on here in just a few minutes. And I've got my big green egg large set up to about 400 degrees. We're gonna cook these chicken wings raised direct. So you saw me rub-a-dub-dub -dub these inside. Let's go ahead and put them on the grill. You can see here I'm using the expander base, so I'm cooking at the felt line. That gives you a little bit of extra distance from the grilling, from the charcoal, so you're not gonna overcook the wings. Well, hopefully we won't overcook these wings. So let's put them on. I like to start my wings skin side down. All right. So let's let those grill away for about 20 minutes. We'll come out here and flip them and they should be perfect. About 45, 50 minutes, these wings are gonna be money. So stay tuned. All right, it's been about 20 minutes, everybody. Let's go ahead and check in on these chicken wings. Ooh. 
Look at that, they are looking perfectly crispy and good. So let's flip them. That one's a little charred, so that must be a hot spot. Ooh, there's a hot spot right up front. So we're gonna move those charred ones to the back. That's okay, it's a little extra flavor. Every time I cook, you got a little hot spots. We'll move these over here and we will check back on them. This time, probably about 15 minutes or so. All right, everybody, uh, we are going to pull the chicken wings off now and we're gonna sauce them, all right? This is easy. I charred some of them. It's okay, char is a little bit of flavor. So let's go ahead, get these chicken wings off. I'll put the charred ones at the bottom. Got those chicken wings off. Now I'm just gonna take this big green egg, sriracha, Vidalia onion, and sriracha barbecue sauce. This stuff is gold, it's so good. All right, now let's go ahead and get a little toss. And look at those chicken wings. Eggtoberfest is not the same without a good chicken wing, people. Who wants to see me do a Buddha bite? It's probably too hot to do a Buddha bite, wouldn't you say? Big green egg makes the best chicken wing. I'm gonna prep two pizzas. Mrs. Buddha does not like tomato sauce. I know it's crazy. You'd never guess it. I'm a quarter Italian. It, it speaks to my heritage in a very negative way, but she doesn't like it. So what I usually get for her is a pesto sauce. And for me, I'm making a good old fashioned pepperoni pizza with some red onion. That's what I like. It's my comfort food. Now, if you're like me, and you're gonna see when I try to toss this pizza dough, you're uncomfortable and intimidated making pizza. You don't know what to do with the dough, you don't wanna do all that stuff, you don't know how to set up your egg. Let me tell you, all you need to do is set up your egg to 450 degrees with a pizza stone, go buy yourself some pizza dough like I did. I didn't make this. Buy yourself all the toppings, buy yourself all the sauces, and just throw together a pizza. Once you get comfortable with making pizza, then you could start putting in smaller details like, well, I guess it's not a small detail, it's a big detail, like making your own dough or making your own sauce. But I digress. Let's dive in and make some pizza. So I've had this dough it's from Trader Joe's and I've had it sitting out here on the counter for about 20 minutes. So unlike Rob D'Amico or Captain Ron, I am not the best pizza dough tosser. So I'm gonna do my best to toss this pizza dough and make it, that's pathetic, isn't it? Oh my goodness. But if you don't have it, look people, just stretch it out. Stretch the dough, get a rolling pin, put a little flour on your rolling pin so it doesn't stick like that. And then you wanna just roll it out. Roll it out. See? Look. We're rolling it out. You don't have to intimidate yourself. You don't need to scare yourself. If you can't toss pizza dough, then you just roll it out. Roll it out. See? And then another little hack I'm going to show you here in just a minute after I roll this pizza dough out is using a pizza screen. A lot of people, myself included, every now and again, Start off with making a pizza. You go to put your pizza on, it sticks to the pizza peel, and next thing you know, you've got a calzone because one end of the pizza comes off, the other one end sticks, it folds on top of each other, it's a big mess. So again, people get intimidated with making the pizza. I'm telling you, a simple trick for that, if you don't feel like monkeying with it, is getting these pizza screens. You can find them at Amazon, they're inexpensive, they're the perfect size for the pizza stone. I'm gonna put the dough on that pizza screen and you're gonna see how easy it is to get that pizza on and off the big green egg. So we're looking at a really delicious pie. All right, so, you know, it's not the best stretched out pie, but I think we're pretty good. With the pizza screen is to spray it with a little bit of olive oil so the pizza dough doesn't stick to the bottom when you go to cook. 
and you just put your dough on the pizza screen. Look at that. Stretch it out. The dough likes the metal, so it sticks a little bit. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, I have made pizza on a pizza screen that's ready to go on the Big Green Egg. We're gonna do the other dough, we're gonna top it, and then we're gonna get the, the pizzas onto the Big Green Egg, and we're gonna have a fun Friday night with everybody at home. I hope you're enjoying Eggtoberfest. Hey, and don't forget, tag us at Eggtoberfest 2020. Show us your food. If you're cooking at home like you would be in the parking lot down there at Stone Mountain, show us your food this weekend. Tag us at hashtag Oktoberfest 2020 and you will show up on the Big Green Egg feed if you have something that we all like. All right, there's a dough. Look at how easy that is. Da, 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 da. All right, and we're gonna do the other dough. I've got two shells right here. We're gonna make some pizza pie. Stay tuned. Now let's make some pizza pies. So like I told you before, Mrs. Buddha doesn't like red sauce. So we're gonna make a beautiful pesto pizza. Look at that pesto. Comes right out of the container. Be generous with it. You gotta love this sauce. Makes for a great white pizza. All the fresh herbs, the oil and the garlic. Great flavor profile. Spread that all across the dough. All right. Now I've got the sauce spread mostly around, leaving a little room for the crust. Now, Mrs. Buddha is not a vegetarian. I think all of you all know that from watching all of our videos all this time but this is her favorite topping on pizza. So we are gonna do it. Little grilled or lightly sauteed red onion. There we go. And I sauteed some baby portobello mushrooms. You always wanna cook your mushrooms first before putting them on your pizza. So that way they don't dry out and end up being brittle and tasteless. All right, so now we've got some mushrooms, but we're using fresh mozzarella. I got the stuff that's pre-sliced. Again, people, you don't need to be intimidated with make a pizza at home. Go get the easy stuff at the grocery store. Make yourself a pizza, cook it. You'll never order takeout again. It's inexpensive, it's so easy, way better tasting than anything you could get from delivery or takeout. And there we go. That is Mrs. Buddha's pesto, mushroom, red onion, and fresh mozzarella pizza. Mr. Buddha pizza is going classic. We're going tomato sauce again. I know how to make my tomato sauce. Uh, but for this, I wanted to show everybody for Eggtoberfest. Again, you don't need to be intimidated with make a pizza on the big green egg. You could go out, get off the shelf ingredients, and make it for yourself at home. Easy, fun, and everybody loves it. And honestly, you've made your own pizza. You've assembled it, you've used fresh ingredients, and you're cooking it on the best grill in the whole wide world, the big green egg. All right, so there's the sauce. Not too much, not too little, end to end. I'm gonna top it off with the rest of these onions, just because I like myself some onion as well. Why not? We've got extra mushrooms, so we're gonna put mushrooms on this pizza. Delicious sauteed baby portobello mushrooms. Next thing we're gonna do is top it off with some shredded mozzarella. Of course, my hands have all that olive oil on it. So we're gonna take the fresh mozzarella and I'm just gonna add it to the top of the pizza. I like a lot of cheese, 
So I'm gonna be generous with this cheese. And there we go. Lots and lots of shredded mozzarella. Couldn't be easier. And then you gotta have pepperoni, people. So I'm just gonna layer some pepperoni around this pizza. Mrs. Buddha can have her mushrooms and onions, but I gotta have a little bit of pepperoni. I love this stuff. Make a good old classic pizza pie design. Circles in and around the pie. Put one in the middle just for uniformity. And that's it. We now have Mr. Buddha's Friday night Eggtoberfest pizza that you all be able to virtually try with me. And we have Mrs. Buddha's Eggtoberfest virtual pizza that you're gonna be able to try with us as well. Sit tight, we'll get these pizzas on in just a minute. All right, everybody, we've got Mrs. Buddha's pizza on the pizza peel. I've got a metal pizza peel, so this slides right on and off. Remember, we're using this pizza screen. I highly recommend those. If you have problems getting your dough off a pizza peel, it's a great hack and it works perfect. You get crispy crust, I'll show you here in the end. The egg's a little high, it's, it's a little higher. It's about 480 degrees, you want 475. So let's get this on the pizza stone. It's probably gonna be about five, six minutes. We'll come back and check on this. Happy Eggtoberfest, everybody. And remember, show us your food. Hashtag Eggtoberfest 2020. We wanna see it. We want you cooking with us just like you do every year. Thank you. All right, that pie is just about done. It's been about seven minutes. Look at the crust underneath. See how beautiful that is? Ooh. Let's go ahead and get this inside. Look at that beautiful pizza pie, everybody. Let's get this pizza inside and then get on Mr. Buddha's pizza, and then we're gonna get a taste of each. Come on. So, we just got Mrs. Buddha's pizza off the big green egg and inside. We're gonna get a taste of that in a minute. Now we're gonna get Mr. Buddha's pepperoni and vegetable pizza onto the big green egg. Give it about seven minutes and we're gonna bring this virtual egg fest home, people. Again, show us your food, hashtag Eggtoberfest 2020. We wanna see what you're cooking up today. All right, everybody, the final pizza's coming off of my big green egg, extra large. Let's take a look. Look at that pie. That's how you do pizza on the big green egg, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that pepperoni. The crust is all crispity. Ooh, hot. This cheese is all melty. Let's get in, slice it up, and get the Buddha bite happening. And then we're gonna bring this virtual Eggtoberfest to a close. Thank you all for joining in this Friday night. I'm Chris Sussman, otherwise known as the Barbecue Buddha, and I can't thank you enough for all the support I get from the Big Green Egg community. I love you. All right, so we have these beautiful Nashville hot wings. You can even see I've got some of the wing sauce still on my fingers from taking a Buddha bite earlier, which was way too early. I burned my mouth, but I did it for you people. So we're gonna put these wings aside, but look at this gorgeous pizza. The brown crust, the crispiness. I told you this would work, and it did. So we're gonna slice this up. Can you hear that crispiness? Listen to that. Listen. That's why the big green egg is the best for making pizzas. All right, people. Here is the Buddha bite. Once again, hot. Burn myself. That whole mozzarella hit my bottom lip. <clears throat> sent me into uh, overkill. But again, I'm doing this for you. It's a virtual Oktoberfest. You need to be entertained somehow, right? Me, the barbecue Buddha, burning myself on camera is one surefire way to do it. But all kidding aside, look at that brown, crispity dispity crust. Look, I'll pull up another piece. See that brown crust? Bing Green Egg makes the best pizza in the world. This stuff is delicious. Mrs. Buddha, you want a bite? Come on over here. Okay. Say hi to everybody. Say happy virtual Eggtoberfest, everybody. Happy virtual Eggtoberfest. Ms. Buddha, is this your favorite pizza ever? My favorite pizza ever. 
That's good pizza, isn't it, folks? Look, everybody. Happy Eggtoberfest. I'm going to go out there and check on Mr. Buddha's pizza. We'll get a bite of that here in a minute. Stay tuned, and we will be right back. All right, everybody. You saw me from start to finish put together easy pizza recipes that you could do at home. Don't be intimidated by the big green egg. If you own one, go out, get yourself a pizza stone right now. Go to your grocery store, get all the ingredients, assemble it like I did. Don't be afraid. I can't throw pizza dough. If you can't, doesn't prevent you from building a beautiful, delicious pizza pie just like this. Without further ado, let's get a slice of this gorgeous pizza pie. I think I just sung. Gorgeous pizza pie. It is Eggtoberfest. By nine o'clock on Eggtoberfest every other year, everybody's already at the bar having a cocktail or two. So it's just appropriate that I act silly and sing, don't you think? If not, please just send me an email and tell me to stop. Again, listen to that crispy crust as I slice into it, all right? I'm bringing my microphone down here so you can hear it. That's crispity crust from that charcoal fired pizza, just like a wood oven at your pizzeria, at your local awesome pizzeria. Your Big Green Egg is also a local awesome pizzeria wood fired oven. Local awesome pizzeria wood fired oven in your backyard. I could see Rob is like, stop, stop, stop. All right. Again, look at that crust, brown, crispity. It holds up. Look, it doesn't sog and sag over. This is pizza made right. Friday night, Eggtoberfest. Thank you all for joining me. Buddha bite on the way. Mm. Once again, extremely hot. It's a theme here. I think y'all are with me. So that's it. It's a wrap. I'm done. You're leaving Louisville, Kentucky now. You're heading back to Georgia. We're going to hand you back off to David Rose, one of my favorite chefs out there. If you haven't seen this guy, check him out. David Rose is all over the place. He's blown up. Fantastic guy. Even better person in real life. He cooks at every Eggtoberfest. If you have a chance, say hello to David. He's cooking up a ribeye over there at Sweetwater Brewery. So David, I'm handing it off back to you. Show us what you've done with that fat cowboy ribeye. Peace, everybody. Thank you. I love you all. Happy Eggtoberfest 2020. Yes.